3D and how our Move 4K now has 3D protocol. So you might be asking, what is that? How do I use that? Why is that important to me at all? Well, that's a great question. It might not be useful for a lot of people, but for those who are looking for a more advanced setup to really get a lot out of their green screen usage, wants to look into the future, maybe you want to integrate AR into your virtual or your real environment. So let's talk a little bit about 3D and how you know it can really make your camera shine and feel futuristic, I'll say. So 3D is a very simple protocol used to exchange camera tracking data. So it was actually originally made by BBC uh, R&D, and it's now supported by a wide range of softwares, like Unreal Engine is probably one of the most specific and kind of general use cases that you see used with 3D. Um, and Unreal Engine is a game engine that a lot of people use for a lot of things outside of the gaming industry now. It's even used in the film industry for creating green screen backgrounds and things like that. So here's a little table of contents of what we're going to go over and into more a little bit about what 3D is. So I'm not going to go too deep because I don't want to bore everybody out there, but essentially what 3D does is take your video data, your information from eight different axes. So if you think like your Y, your up and down, your X and your Z axis, all of that information is taken and gathered and brought into 3D and it's using all of that to create almost a virtual environment. And that's one of the ways that you can use 3D. There's a lot of different ways you can use it. So I wanna go a little bit further to integrations. Won't go over each individual ones. These are a bunch of different softwares and uh, products that use 3D that you can now use with your Move 4K camera. I will move further to virtual sets is one of the most commonly used things. Large grand sets that are made with Unreal Engine, in this case for Epic Games. And then some more general use cases, like I mentioned. So obviously we have the augmented reality in broadcasting. You want to think like sports integrating big, you know, live graphics, scoreboards could be even 3D graphics as well. Large virtual sets, like I mentioned, or the backdrops of film and TV. And you also have things like concerts and events. So this can go through every different market that you would like to you John, know, create can I throw content for an idea in with this one yeah sure so like here's an idea like a lot of this stuff is pretty advanced but here's something that i think we will see probably this year yeah. in our, our own live stream mm -hmm. so with augmented reality what i think we might see is let's say uh there is a sign behind tests Sure. It's not really here in the studio. It's virtual. Yeah. But if Mike pans and tilts, it actually looks like it's physically there. Mm -hmm. So if you're a church and you want to show the lyrics of the song, perhaps you show it in the virtually on top of or inside of the scene. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that is a great point. You could even create a virtual set of a church. Say you're a small church and you want to dream big, right? You want to show off a church that's much grander and larger than your small chapel. You can do that with a virtual set. You can make it look grand and massive with 3D. So I'm glad Paul brought those options and those use cases because I want to show how we can actually use this in real life. So I brought up a little uh, YouTube clip here that's showing how you can integrate 3D with your PTZ Optics Move 4K camera. So a little bit of background here. So what you're seeing is a green screen use with this little dummy. On one side, you're seeing the green screen. On the other, you're seeing what 3D can do. It's creating this 3D environment. And as you see, he's panning and zooming even dropping the camera on a crane, and it's creating this 3D environment that feels real behind him. It fully feels 3D. It fully feels as if we're moving deeper into the environment as he zooms. So obviously this is a very rough test. He's not creating a real background, but this is the kind of cool features that you'll get out of 3D with the Move 4K now. You're able to integrate it with really cool softwares like Disrupt AR, which is helping him create this really great demonstration. I have another really cool demonstration mentioning uh, AR. Like Paul mentioned, you can use augmented reality, which is creating 3D objects in your you know, real world. These are fake digitally created AR objects. So this team is also using a software and hardware called Class X that allows them to integrate full on 3D objects into a virtual environment. So they're using a PTZ camera to tilt and move around the environment. And there is the Class X logo. 
and they are the company that develops this. So here's something like Paul mentioned, you could have a news show, huge 3D, big, in, in your environment, looks very real. And we're at the tippy iceberg of this technology. Virtual sets have been around for five plus years, but we're getting to much better rendering, a lot more realistic in terms of its 3D look and feel. And it's only going to get better from there. We're going to continue to advance and grow. And here's the big advantage, right? So you may say my camera already has that, but is your camera an $8,000 camera? Is it almost $10,000? The Move 4K starts at $1,800, right? So what we're seeing is free to offer with a camera that is a lot more affordable and a lot easier to obtain than these eight ten thousand $10,000 cameras. And you can achieve these really cool special effects at a much lower cost. So obviously we're gonna stand out above a lot of the rest of the competition here because of that price. And because we're offering these tools, we're always gonna be open with our support team and here with uh, Tess and Paul and open and talk about these things. So basically look into 3D, it's awesome. It's a really great tool that you can use for AR, VR, and it now is supported with our Move 4K once our new firmware comes out and gives you that 3D awesome protocol so check it out thanks paul for letting me take over Great your seat job, here John. i appreciate succinct and good sales Thank might steal you after this <laughs>